right grade 12s good day and welcome to pet 2021 okay so i'm going to take you through in this video just the pet document what is required from you um, so that you have a good idea most of you should be um, finishing phase two or on phase three at this point already um, but let's just go through this and uh, yeah let's see how we can help you okay so i'm going to scroll down just remember phase one is a maximum of 32 marks phase two 44 phase three 70 and then general of four marks so you can see how that all comes out to our 150 marks um, and just remember the pet counts for 25 percent of your final grade 12 marks so you do want to make every effort to get as many marks as possible and that's why videos like this and uh, many other teachers that do this are here as well so let me just get that here we've got our topic talking about unlocking a resilient future talking about the covid virus you know everything that goes with that so i'm gonna go past that because we know what that is we've already got what our task is and here we just have our overview of phase one two and three so creating the folder structure you know all those things of phase one right so in phase one we need to create the the uh, folder structure and that folder structure is simply creating your pet 2021 document um, and having your phase one two and three folder inside of that okay you're going to create your report your report is basically your phase one working document but by the time you get to phase three it becomes your report that has to have a cover page an automatic table of contents an automatic table of figures as well you've got to have some of your headings addendums um, you know all these different things uh, you have to define your task so that's your task definition it has to be plus minus 300 words font size 12 I don't tell you what font type so you can use any one you want to but that 300 words must answer these questions over here what is the current situation what will be the focus and purpose of your investigation how are you going to go about it you know in other words you're going to con you're going to conduct a a questionnaire you're going to give it out to people you're going to take that you're going to turn it into a spreadsheet you're going to take that spreadsheet and turn it into a database and then who is it for okay so all of that information is obviously up here in the topic okay and then you need to determine a focus question you want one focus question which must clearly reflect the main focus of your investigation a single sentence clearly phrased concise and reachable very researchable and clearly relevant um, to what you are going to be researching and then we need to have our tables okay we've done this in in grade 11 already you know same thing like your questions the level the category the source bibliographical information quality of the information and a summary um, you're also going to evaluate all of that information so yeah they're just talking about the levels um, they want let's see uh, uh, filling the questions you need at least 10 questions through those tables uh, minimum of 10 and they need to be at three or four types of levels so you can have eight questions at a level one one question at a level two and one question at a level three that would be fine okay let's go down so there we go again reminding us 10 questions three levels in three categories so in other words you've got to have three tables i'll show you a um an, an example here for phase one all right, so here they just give us examples of um, evaluating, not evaluating the sources, but the bibliography. If you're going to be using websites, this is how you need to um, show that source table. If it's something else, here's an example. Okay, and then this is what the bibliographical information looks like. You've got to indicate the author, the name of the website or web page, the date it's created, date it's accessed, the URL, um, and the date, yes. Um, I think very importantly there is the date you access that particular site. Okay. Um, when it comes to a book or a magazine, it's going to be the date it was published. Okay. Uh, let's go down. Then you've got to evaluate it for each of the three minimum sources you identified. Right? At least two different websites and one other source. So you'll you'll have this table where you are 
you know, evaluating the authority, currency, accuracy, objectivity, and coverage of two websites and another source. Some people, what they do is they just make one massive table that's got everything in it. Um, if you're doing it that way, it's fine as long as you have all of these items in here. Okay, there we go. There they're just showing us more on that. And that's it. So yeah, you can see when it comes to the handing of phase one, you need a single report. Okay. With a cover page, the different headings, your task definition, a, a screenshot of the folder structure. You need um, an addendum, the completed questions and sources table, a minimum of 10 questions, sources for each question. Um, bibliographical data as we saw in those tables, an addendum with a declaration of authenticity, and a summary of the content for each of the questions. So let's just go down. I want to go down to the rubric quickly uh, for phase one. There we go. And then I just want to open up a, um, I think I might have an example here. Let me just have a look. Okay, so let's just look at phase one. And here's your example. Okay, so here we've got our cover page. You can see everything we need there is there. So uh, let's go to our rubric. And the rubric starts with a task definition. So I'm going to go over. Go down, we've got our automatic table of contents. That's fine. Then we've got our task definition. Okay, now have a look at this. If you have answered these four questions within your task definition, you get the four marks. End of story. Nothing else. Okay, so please make sure when you draft your task definition, you are answering these questions in the process. Then the focus question. Let's go and have a look here. Is your focus question clearly phrased? Question is researchable. Single sentence clearly relevant to the topic. If it ticks all those boxes, again, you get four marks. In the next one are these questions. So if I go through here, this is what I'm talking about. So you've got your heading research questions and you can see there's one table, two tables, and here's the third table. But the number of questions between all three tables totals a minimum of 10. Okay, you can see here I've got my questions, I've got the level of the question, and then the possible source where I will get an answer to this question. Remember the whole idea is that these tables and questions are here to help you research further into your topic. Um, you'd have a heading up here. We don't really need this heading one. But that's our heading, calendar management. This one's got a different heading and the third one as well. So when I go to my rubric and I have a look at this for four marks, are all questions provided relevant to the topic? Yes. Um, questions are representative of at least three different levels? Yes. All questions are grouped under different categories? Yes. At least three different categories of questions? Yes. So in this case, I'll get my four marks. Okay. Now added to that, is there a possible appropriate source? Yes. Are there at least 10 questions? Yes. Um, number of sources. Are we you know, going to put in the bibliography two websites and one other source? So if I go over here and I go down to my bibliography, have a look at that. That's the table that you're going to be using. Um, in this person's case, they just did the uh, two websites. They didn't do the third one. Um, but okay, so they're only going to get marks for that. But that is what it should be. You can see there's all the info and at the bottom they put in the summary of the source information. In other words, a summary of what was on the website that they went to or the magazine or the you know, newspaper article or whatever it is. Okay, so when it comes to the bibliography, please just make sure you have those tables. It's going to do the evaluation um, on these sources as well. So you can see just for doing that, you're talking about a maximum of eight marks for that. 
having a summary at the end of your document that is going to give you um, four marks as well but this relates to the summary at the end of your tables sorry not the document so here we go let me look at the bibliography there's our source and then we have a summary of information that's what they are referring to over here I have summaries uh, summaries are completed for all questions yes summaries give information available in the sources information relative relevant to the topic and all summaries are in the learner's own words please no plagiarism for goodness sake please it's not going to work it's just going to do you a horrible disservice if you do that and then eight uh, or number eight we just look at the document itself is it a single report does it have the headings are there addendums and is the evident of the soul evidence of the sources if there is well there you go there's your four marks done and dusted and that's how you'll get your 32 marks for phase one okay um let's just yeah i think that's that's all for phase one okay so great trials that is phase one i know most of you should be done with it by now um so this would just be a little bit of revision just to see what you've actually done compared to the rubric um, before you hand in